When we wash our hands and when we wash our hair, we want to make sure that we are using the right products for our skin and for our body, but we may not think as much about the impact that water can have on our hair. Lola Palooza, a beauty and culture educator with Tricoji University, joins us this morning on Daybreak to talk about the effects of the hard water. Good morning. Yes, good morning, and good morning, Indianapolis. I don't know if you know this, you have incredibly hard water here. We do. <laughs> we have such hard water here. And some of the effects that it has on both our, our hair and our skin is uh, it can be a, have a dulling effect. Okay. Um, it can make it more difficult for products to be effective. Ooh, okay. Um, and so many people have that situation where they buy a new shampoo or a new lotion and they yes. like it. And they, and, but they realize as they use it, it starts to become less effective. Yes. And some of that can just be a buildup of minerals from hard water on our hair and skin. Wow. It makes it very tricky because we feel like we've spent money on these products <laughs> and we're just throwing it away and we don't want to do that. Lola, what do we do? Well, there's some very simple things that we can do to help to get rid of this buildup because we're, sadly, we're not going to redo our water system uh, <laughs> quickly part. enough, but we can work on uh, finding products uh, that can help to remove this buildup from our skin. Some of these products can be uh, bought. But also, some of these products are right in your home. Uh, an easy product to use is taking a spray bottle, mixing it half with water, half with vinegar, and just doing, a, it's called an acid treatment or an acid rinse. By spraying that on your hair and letting it sit for a little bit, it can help to break up that mineral buildup. Mm. But there's also some phenomenal products that are even produced right here in Indianapolis okay. by our friends at Malibu Wellness. Okay. They have a hard water wellness product that's really phenomenal, and there's all kinds of great products out there. And as always, I highly recommend connecting with your cosmetologist to find the right products for your needs. Now, what are the benefits of really going the extra mile? The benefits are when you're spending money on hair color. We're going into spring. We're changing up color. We're changing yes. up looks. We're spending money on those on cuts, on color. Um, we're spending money on those lotions, especially getting ready for sun, uh, sun season. We gotta get that SPF going. Yes. And we wanna make sure that the money we're spending on those products is not going to waste because the product's just sitting on top of that mineral buildup instead of actually getting in and doing what we want it to do. Have you experienced this personally? Oh, have you realized, you know. So many times, <laughs> so many times. Um, I, I find that a lot of times I struggle with really dry hands. A lot of us do in the winter time, it's yes. less humid. Me too. But even in the summertime, especially working as a cosmetologist, your hands are always in water. And always having your hands in water in Indiana means that I'm always exposing to that mineral buildup. Mm. And then I go to use lotion and the lotion just kind of sets there and I still have that dry skin happening. Um, also happens with skin care. Facial skin care can be very expensive. Yeah. And I want to make sure that all of those good things keep me looking so young and beautiful. Just look at me. Just yes. look how... And that's because I'm trying to remove that mineral buildup so that all of these beautification products we're using can actually work. Got it. Such great information, Lola. Please stay with us here Absolutely. on Daybreak this morning because we would love to talk to you a little bit yeah. more. I